Hey, welcome guys to week 10 of our 16-week um, course. So I just kind of wanted to go through and show you what to do this week. The first thing you'll have to do is, I haven't changed your um, week 9 yet, um, but in a minute I will put that as week 10. Well, I'll do it right now. No, I'll do that when I finish this video. Um, anyway, I'm going to get to it by going to modules. And I'm going to show you this anyway because I needed to do this. Um, a lot of you need to go back and check out how to do your Works Cited page for SA3 because there were a lot of mistakes. Um, so one thing you can do is go scroll through here and find week 9, how to cite a YouTube video. Because you have three... Um, <clears throat> three clips from YouTube from Misery. So all of the entries you have, the three that you have right here, um, they're YouTube videos. So you need to know how to cite them. Then here's the hanging indent handout. This shows you how to make yours, um, how to make that, you know how you do a paragraph and you indent the first line and then after that you don't. On um, works cited entries, you do not um, indent the first one, but the second and all following um, lines from there. So it's just the opposite. It's called an inverted indent, but it's called hanging indent in Word. So this shows you how to do it, okay? Um, and then, of course, there's your template. All right, but let's look at week 10, and I am going to put week 10 overview on the front page so you can get to it quickly. Um, this week is not bad at all. The only thing you're going to do is submit to me the final copy of SA3 and the Works Cited page. Now, technically, you should have already done the Works Cited page, and it should be correct. Um, if it's not, make those corrections, but you make sure that when you submit the final copy of SA3 to me, that on that very last page as a separate page is that Works Cited page. You have to have that Works Cited page with your SA3. Now, let's say you submit and you forget. Either resubmit quickly or simply go in and submit me that file of Works Cited. It needs to be there. It's not something you email me the next day and say, oh, I forgot my Works Cited page. Do it that day, okay? Even if it doesn't come straight with the paper, if it's a second a second submission. Okay, so a couple of things to look at here. Look over, there's a PowerPoint in here, and it's SA3, and it has what to do, what not to do. So it says, hey, don't forget topic sentences. Use concluding sentences, and it gives you examples. Always italicize misery. Um, shows you how to swap up some reading uh, or wording. Present tense. Shows you don't do these things. Don't use this. Don't provide a summary. So it's it's a really quick little PowerPoint that kind of shows you, hey, these are things that a lot of students do, but don't, don't get hooked into this. Definitely don't do these. All right. Here's another one is tips for the conclusion paragraph. Sometimes we have issues with the conclusion paragraph. So click here and it kind of shows you some things that you could utilize in your conclusion paragraph. Because remember, you have five. You have an intro, conclusion, and then a body paragraph on each of your three um, clips that you included from Misery. Now, right here is... Um, let's see if I can show you this. Um, this is Misery is a Dead Cat. Um, in years past I have done Misery and Pet Cemetery. So these are just some examples that you'll see from different intro paragraphs um, and body paragraphs that you might learn something from. The only thing to remember is that we're not doing Pet Cemetery. We're only doing Misery and we're only talking about the theme of suspense. So if they have something about the theme of violence or something, um, don't use it. I mean, we're only using, keep with our instructions. But this shows you, like, how do I do a close-up camera shot, or how does it sound like when you use a specific, um, like this one, obviously there's some problems, but you can kind of see where they are and, you know, what to do. Like, here's a very good body paragraph. Well, what makes it good? Just kind of read through and see. All right, then there's an SA3 checklist. This is, I mean, it takes a little time, but you read all these things, and you go through, and you make sure your essay has it, okay? One thing I'm noticing is several of you are not double spacing. you got to double space, okay? That's important. That's kind of how I grade in between, so I need that double spacing. And, of course, I give you a template that's already double spaced. All right, and then it says, don't forget to include the Works Cited page, the three Misery clips from Misery, plus the film entry for Misery. The template is attached right here. You'll notice that these, these are the three. These are where your YouTube clips would go, and then you just leave it leave misery. Some of you are just taking misery out. I want it there for a reason because you talk about the film, so make sure it's there. 
And then at the bottom, um, this is where you would click on SA3, and it needs to be in Canvas with your Works Cited page um, on Sunday night, on or before 11.59. So really the only assignment you have is SA3 Final. I just went through and downloaded um, your drafts, and I've put comments. Even if you got a complete grade on the Works Cited, please go back and make sure I did not make a comment that said something like, you need to fix this. And some of you only have one entry. Some of you have one entry, and it's it's completely incorrect. Um, some of you have sources that I've never seen. I'm giving you sources. You're not having to come up with these sources. So go back into week nine and reread your assignment, and so you'll know the instructions. Um, anyway, I got your drafts. I've downloaded them. You should have gotten a, a complete or incomplete grade on that. Um, I will try to have those for you. Um, I'll try to upload those back to you and I'll send you an email when I do um, with my comments on, on them before um, Tuesday afternoon before I leave. Okay. All right, guys. Um, if you have any questions, just send me a message um, in Canvas Messages. All right. Thank you.